Hello friends, welcome back to Storage Automation Campus. This is Gaurav here. So we are going to continue our learning about the ONTAP API. In past two videos, we saw how we can use the Explore tool to use the ONTAP API and to see how it is going to behave in the programming language. I introduce you about aggregate API which help us to get the list of aggregate using aggr get itr api this time i am going to introduce another api also to you and that is volume api which help you to get the list of volumes and that api is volume get eater so we will see how we will use we can use this api in our tool and just to save the time, what I have done is I, I have copied all uh, this code in the pro Python programming language in my text editor. So you can see above this is the same code what I have copied from there, except the change is I have appended my password in this and I have append modified the path to to tell the Python that where the libraries of this APIs are available. Now, if you notice below this, I have added something extra and I'm going to explain you what this code is going to do is and what, what are these extra steps. If you come here and if you see the execute here, you will notice the output which API gives that is in, in XML format. You go to any API and every API is going to give you the XML format output. In Python, it is difficult to play around with XML format. So to solve this problem, there is a module available in Python and that is called XML2Dict. This is XML2Dict, one of the Python module. This module basically change your XML output to JSON language. And if you are aware about JSON or YAML language, JSON and YAML are basically our key value pair. So it has the output of any command in key value. So basically we are going to convert this entire output in JSON. So we will get it in key value pair. And because as soon as we will have it in key value pair so that will be available for us in a dictionary python dictionary language python dictionary variable sorry so if you see here above this everything i have copied from the z explorer but below this i i am trying to convert this X, using XML to dict the output of this API in a in a JSON language and using that JSON output as a dictionary Python dictionary so let me first show you how it looks like and let's see if it is Python dictionary or not so just to save the time I have created this code already for you We'll run this script and you can see the output is dict. So it's this is basically the JL variable which is doing nothing but it is jump, dumping the XML into the JSON and converting the complete code, the XML uh, output to the JSON. So the output what we are getting that is in the dictionary format. And if you are aware about Python dictionary format, to get the output of the dictionary, you have two options. Either you can get the key value pair values or you can, if you know the keys, then you can get all the keys and you can play, uh, you can get the output of those keys. So let me show you how the key looks like in this case. So I, I am printing this result attribute I will explain you what exactly is this but before that let me run the code so now you can see this is the output our first 
print statement which is here type which is telling us this is a dictionary and the second attribute starts from here and because it is starting with curly bracket and ending with curly bracket so you can see that this is basically a dictionary but keep in mind that dictionary key keys are there but the values might be a list or it could be a dictionary itself so it would it may be a inherited dictionary or a dictionary key may have a value uh, of a list so we will go through in this in deep but before that let me explain you what exactly this result and attribute list is if you come back to Z Explorer and come back to aggregate API you will see all of the API start with from here you can see output of this so the first the output the first line of the output is result and if you come here the first line of the output is result so basically result is the first key word from the output which I am getting from the dictionary so basically if I remove this portion I will get the first key and if I remove complete this portion and if I run only JL so the first key would be result so just to save some time I am taking the output of the result and the second is attribute list so if we come back here so second is attribute list so second key of the dictionary is attribute list and if you see even in aggregate so the second key is always attribute list that may be that may change also but you you if you come here in the z explorer you can run the command you can run the api and you can see what the output is and just to be more clear on this let me try to show you if how it looks like so if i just print only jl which is a dictionary output So you can see it is the first key is result and the second key inside the dictionary is aggregate attributes. So to save the time what I have done here is I have already segregated this result. I have already keyed, um, uh, taken out these two keywords and I am taking the output. I am trying to get the output of this key so the values for this key which is attribute list is this complete key so as i said before this is basically a inti the inherited uh, dictionary which which may uh, may have list as well as the different dictionaries as well so now as you can see that you have the output in place but still this output is not clear and it has a lot of different values which we don't want so now let's see how we can get some sensible value out of this for example i want to see the name of the aggregate and i also want to see what is the size of the aggregate so if you come here and under the aggregate attributes you will see there should be a aggregate name you can see a key called aggregate name and there should be another key which is aggregate size total and size used but keep in mind this key which is size total and size q used this key actually is another key which is aggregate space attribute so basically what api has done is in uh, they have divided the they have segregated different sections from the api where they in one section they are talking only about the space attributes in another section they are talking about the aggregate uh, name attribute so let's come back here so now we know <coughs> that we are in aggregate attributes and as i said the first key was the aggregate name the second key was the size total 
बट साइज टोटल की वॉज अंडर अनादर की विच वॉज द एग्रीगेट स्पेस एट्रीब्यूट सेम गोज विथ साइज यूज एज वेल साइज यूज की वॉज अंडर अनादर की विच वॉज द एग्रीगेट स्पेस एट्रीब्यूट सो वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द आउटपुट यूजिंग द की वैल्यू यूजिंग द की नेम एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द वैल्यू ऑफ द की वैल्यू पेयर टेक द आउटपुट ऑफ दैट एंड गोइंग टू प्रिंट इट सो लेट सी वॉट द रिजल्ट कम्स इन लेट मी क्लियर दिस सो दैट वी कैन गेट द क्लियर रिजल्ट my bad i think i have not saved it <laughs> okay so you can see uh, that i i can get the aggregate name i can get the size the total size and i can also get the use size so let me come here and let me see if that is correct so you can see uh, because i have not changed it from the bytes to different uh, uh, kbs or or gbs so that's why you can see but uh, uh, this is the output this is the name of the aggregate these are the some of the values the total size and the uh, use size etc so uh, this is how we get the size or this is how we can get the Uh, report for the aggregate so if, for example you need to generate the report you can generate this report on daily basis you can mail it uh, to you you can view it whatever you want to do you can do that so uh, for your understanding uh, i have created i have taken the another example which is about the volume api so in this case let's say we want to get the list of all the volumes and we want to see what is their use size what is their uh, total size etc everything remains same there is no major changes what i have done is i have uh, taken i have dragged the volume api from left section to the center section and on the right hand side side i have deleted all the extra parameters out of this i copied the code which was un under the development section into my python file here you can see above this everything remains same no changes except the password etc now i have converted the output of the X xml output to the json and taken it as a uh, dictionary format so let's take this example now let me save it so you can see that uh, the output what we are getting the jl file jl is variable is a dictionary type now let me see what the output we are getting you can see that still it remains same result and then attribute list so i have taken the results and the attribute list out of this you can see i am still getting a big output but is at least i am getting some output so let me clear it up now i want to take out some sensible data out of this weird data and that sensible data for me is the name of the volumes i am going to take out the name of the volumes i am going to take out the total size use size and available size and this time i am going to convert this si these sizes in gb so let's see how how it goes so you can see uh, i have three volumes in the netapp cluster and these are the sizes in the gb um, these sizes these sizes are not in uh, proper uh, numbers and that is because i have not rounded up to decimal 2 values or or decimal 0 values that's why you are seeing so such a, uh, a weird data or weird size but let's see if we can at least match it somehow so you can see um, 19 gb is the root 
SVM root which is 20 M sorry 19 MB so it is showing 20 MB 1 or 2 MB here and there is okay 1024 1 gig which is perfect 766 807 that is okay 1 or 2 gig MB here and there then we have 18.62 uh, SVM is available 18.62 which is perfect 1022 1022 perfect 388 384 which is perfect almost so we are matching we are good uh, so you can see how uh, you can get the list of the volume how you can get the complete uh, data you you can use this uh, this api for generating a report or if you want to mail that report or or whatever way you you feel that comfortable in your environment is uh, so use feel free to use it uh, just use it and and I think that is one of the best way using them is one of the best way to learn it also uh, just keep in mind if you have good knowledge about at least uh, Python basics because the dictionary what I am talking about or the list what I am talking about these all are uh, nothing but um, the basic variables basic type of variables in python which uh, i think uh, is is everybody should know if you are still using any kind of python uh, if you are using python programming language so i'm just trying to keep it very simple so that you can understand it you you will be clear and uh, uh, we will see uh, i will come up with more examples and um, I will see I, I will see how we can create volume how we can create uh, some other export entries or something like that but uh, so keep watching uh, and keep learning thank you for watching me thank you bye bye